USA Radio News with Chris Barnes. Thanksgiving travelers in many parts of the nation not giving thanks for the weather and travel conditions this holiday. A foot of snow has fallen in Denver and Minneapolis. Now it's snowing in the Midwest. A bomb cyclone hit Oregon and California, leaving hundreds in the Golden State stranded in their cars. Slippery conditions led to a 60-vehicle pileup near Spokane, Washington. It will be sunny for this morning's Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York City, but officials say the windy conditions could lead them to ground the fame balloons. At the end of the day, public safety is paramount, and we want everybody to enjoy the event. North Korea has reportedly conducted a weapons test. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff saying an unidentified projectile was fired. No further details provided. It's the 13th time this year the North has carried out such a test. And this is USA Radio News. China is warning of countermeasures against the United States after President Trump signed bills supporting anti-government protesters in Hong Kong yesterday. Pro-democracy activist Joshua Wong is differing, saying Mr. Trump should be commended for initiating a show of support. It just encouraged world leaders around the world and politicians aware that it's time for them to stand with Hong Kong. Authorities in southeast Texas can't say when people can return to their homes after two explosions at a petrochemical plant early yesterday. The initial blast happened around 1 a.m. The company, TBC Group, says three people were injured. Troy Monk with TBC says some of the homes were damaged. Glass broken, doors uh, jammed in their frames. For USA Radio News, I'm Wendy King. The Arena Football League has filed for bankruptcy a month after shutting down all six of its teams. This is USA Radio News. Former President Jimmy Carter waking up on this Thanksgiving day back in his own bed as he was released from an Atlanta hospital yesterday after brain surgery due to some recent falls. The 95-year-old former president and his wife say they are grateful for all of the prayers. It seems fewer women are having abortions. The CDC reports a 2% drop in 2016, the last year for which all the data is in, from the 47 states that submitted data. Over 90% of abortions were before 13 weeks of pregnancy. Planned Parenthood attributes the drop to better access to contraception. A Michigan man is lucky to be alive after fishing up a live World War I grenade. The angler was in the Grand River in Grand Rapids when his magnet caught the artifact and a bomb squad had to come out and detonate the mortar safely away from the public. Police believe it may have brought uh, or been brought from Germany, but was tossed in the river when the original owner realized it was illegal. And many of us remember when Madonna sprang on the scene years ago. Well, the Material Girl's now 61, and she just had to cancel three shows in Boston due to overwhelming pain and doctor's orders. And for USA Radio News, I'm Chris Barnes.